you will slit your throat, you bitch! Just doing here. Everything is fine. Mommy is here. Master Key! Mommy is exhausted. One of these days, you're all going to make me crazy. Callow. So, this is the real reason why Rosso Gallo closed its doors. Ashman's sister.
right up your belly! Chores? Obviously not. Stop right here! Do it, Jen. You can do it. I told Ashman that we didn't need desperate children. Until then, I will only see the same ugly old faces.
still no news regarding last night's massacre at the peaceful residence of Cervo Scuro, where the body of Richard Felton, a well-known notary, was found burnt in his own home. The man who was legally registered as Jennifer Richard Dean Felton and was found completely drenched in kerosene. The body of 38-year-old Gloria Ashman was also found at the scene. She was his personal assistant and a former nun at the Cristo Morente convent. Her body was found mutilated as he was reported thrown out a courtyard-facing window, apparently following a heated argument. The neighbors claimed to have spotted a distinctive woman lurking around the area, having parked a white van nearby. Assigned by Flemington Institute to the Foster Home and Work Project at the Ashman Inn, 1973. Jennifer, just over two years older. Unknown parents. It's you, isn't it? Celeste Felton. Missing. February 8th, 1971. Celeste Felton, 13 years old. Beloved adopted daughter of Richard Felton and Ariana Gallo. Miss, Mr. Ashman is waiting for you. Did you say Reed? Are you a relative? More like an old family friend. Please come in, Miss Reed. Come in. Don't be afraid. I don't fight. What is Reed, hun? Good evening, Mr. Ashman. You've certainly come a long way. You have gone from simple larceny and battery all the way to homicide and arson. Are you here to broaden your resume? Do you remember me? I'll never forget a face. Maybe because I don't have one anymore. I know exactly why you're here. The same exact reason why that son of a bitch Felton ended up like cooked meat. What ever happened to Celeste Felton? I have here a dossier from the Flemington Girls Institute granting custody of 15-year-old girl Jennifer and certifying that she is to be a housekeeper at this hotel. Celeste Felton and the girl in the photo are the same person, aren't they? That girl was simply an orphan, a homeless nobody, and so I decided to take custody of her. And she just so happened to be the adoptive daughter of your former hated business partner Felton by pure coincidence? <laughs> I don't buy it. So, you're saying that besides synthesizing pharmaceutical drugs and spreading diseases, Mr. Felton and yourself were all dedicated to helping homeless minors? It was never about synthesizing a disease, because the disease never existed. And the moths? Woken up at last! Hey, hey, I barely oh, touched no. her. It's just a bad dream. No, it wasn't a dream. I found you at the bottom of the stairs. You hit your head and lost a lot of blood. It was as if you were dead, Jim. Andrea went crazy. You must eat or drink something, young lady. She wanted to kill me. That's not possible, Jennifer. Andrea was with me. Here you go. Drink up. I am sure of what I saw. Everything is all right now. Calm down. There was also a large man. He had a, a, a strange wooden stick shaped like a spine. Poor Slim. That man is dead, young lady. No, I, I saw him. He was the one who pushed me down the stairs. You called him Wyman. That thing is no longer Professor Wyman. Andrea! That man is dead, and has been for a long time. He... 
hung himself. You see, you were just dreaming. I... 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 I, I don't understand. Jen, you have to calm down now. You believe me, Lynn, don't you? You believe me, right? <laughs> she should get some rest now. Jen, if you need anything... I'm here for you. Say goodbye Party first from my eyes you leave me, pretty sure you miss me. If you fly, you lose something in the sky. Are you new here? Listen to me. Excuse me? Uh, are you new? I suppose so. I love that song. Where are you from? Flemington Girls Institute. What did you do? What do you mean? If you get transferred here, it means you are a real problem. Listen, I'm not up for making conversation. Oh, well, I'm sorry, I guess. I was hoping we would get to know each other better. That's all. I'm into illegal organ and drug trafficking. In my spare time, I exchange sex for cigarettes. Nice. I was expecting more like controversial political activist, promoter of black slavery and preservation of the Aryan race. Only in my spare time. Very well, you're right. I'm a real handful. Now, if you will excuse me. The pleasure was all mine. You lose something in the sky. You have to wake up. I beg you, wake up! Shit, they drugged you. Listen, you have to leave. You have to get away from this place. This story, again? Everything you said before. I believe you. Porcelain and everything else you saw. You heard Andrea. He... He hung himself years ago. It's him, isn't it? Professor Albert Elias Wyman. The same walking stick you were talking about. See? It was all an act. There was no body. And if there had been, it wouldn't have been his. I don't... I don't understand. There's no time to explain. They know who you are. They know! What are you talking about? Why didn't you ever say anything to me? I tried to warn you. I tried to, to get you to leave. But you never understood for fuck's sake. Why? Who do they think I am? Celeste Felton. Me? No, uh, I don't know. Uh, oh God, Lynn, I can't remember. They found you and they brought you here to use you. And now that they are sure of who they think you are, you have to run! Fucking hell, Lynn! Just tell me! That drug. The disease! And what does that have to do with me? Your birth mother. She used loads of it. You got it from her. It's, it's a part of you. Your organism hasn't shown any side effects. Your body lives in harmony with it. You can even control it! And they know it! Look me in the eyes, Jen. Look at me! You mustn't do anything or trust anyone. 
Is this the reason why we met? Have you been pretending to be my friend this whole time? No, Jen. It had nothing to do with this. I've always been honest with you. the presence of a possible threat to her throne. She does everything that she is capable of to maintain control over the others. Therefore, eliminating the threat It's coming from Ashman's office. Fuck! It's locked! Oh, there has to be another way. locked. It's locked.
Watchman, he's sleeping. I'll have to be as quiet as possible. I missed it by a second. Wait, what's that? Maybe they left a voicemail. Coincidence, Jen. Therefore, Lynn was right. They found me and brought me here for a specific reason. Ashman knew. Jesus. I wonder if they were aware of all the abuses caused by their son to his little sister. Mom! Dad! Is this what you were looking for? <gasps> Mr. Ashman, please, lower that gun! I don't want to hurt you. It's not my intention. 
Why won't you let me go then? I have no choice, Celeste. I am not Celeste! Quit the act! You're the only one who can stop it! Please, Mr. Ashman, I beg of you, let me go. You're exactly the same as your slutty mother! That disgusting bitch! Phenoxyl made her lose her mind! She had to get in the way! I loved Ariana! Why did she keep us apart? Mr. Ashman... She had to be shown who was the real man! Did she not learn her lesson when I fucked her?! <laughs> Fire extinguisher. Maybe I can use it to my advantage. Maybe I can use it to my advantage. Young lady! Ah! It worked! No, no! Ah! Fucking broken! Bitch! No, 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 no! Where do you think you're going? Acheronchia, the most fascinating creature on the planet. It can communicate with others of its kind, even from great distances. Imagine if we could create a bridge between the human mnemonic apparatus and the communicative system of those beings, with rapid impulses and synapses. A transmission of images without the use of senses. That would be telepathy, miss. But most insects need a leader to guide them. Take bees, for example. They have a queen to guide them. Very good. That's what the hypnosis was for. During the hypnosis, the metronome is only a tool. The ticking is interpreted as a gentle flapping of the wings. But the real queen bee, or should I say Mother Acherontia, was... Whoever was hypnotizing others. Bingo. And he would have had complete control over them. The Phenoxyl was able to fill in substantial memory gaps, formed by the removal of a particular event, such as traumas from one's memory. But why Celeste, then? That damned mother of hers, who was making regular use of Phenoxyl during her pregnancy, managed to pass on to her an extraordinary gift, a special power. Do you not understand, Reed? Celeste was born a Queen Bee. Disgusted by you and all the girls of your generation. I will rip your head off and throw it in the freezer. Hang her. This is all yours. Do what you want. Young lady. Did your mother tell you that you were born because I fucked her? <laughs> tick tock, tick tock, tick tock! <laughs> there was never enough for that fucking whore. The hypnosis, the drugs, 
her daddy's money, and the company. No. She stole from me the woman I loved. And if that wasn't enough, she stained my family's name. And what about you? Wasn't fucking your sister enough for you? Don't you dare talk about Gloria that way! You're a fucking monster! Admit it! They kept her isolated, far away from anyone, just so that she couldn't spill all of your dirty family secrets! You don't know shit! And when it all started to resurface, you decided it was time to shut them up! Maybe by lighting it all up- SHUT UP! <laughs> it's the most idiotic story I've ever heard. Did your dearest father tell you that in reality he was a woman? That he married the woman that I loved just to keep up the act? That at just ten years of age his father stuffed him with meds? You weren't adopted! You best convince yourself that Felton is your biological mother! Give up! There's nothing you can do. <laughs> Quickly, or else you must. You can hear me. You can do it. Concentrate. Release what you are holding inside of you. You are a uh, Mother Acherontia. The moths are listening to you. What you have is not an illness. It's a gift. A gift. Use it. You can do it. Sir, Quickly they're coming to... from the cold room. I think the lights went out. They're coming! Sir, the girl. I can't find her. I have to make sure I don't get caught. Aha! Uh -huh! That's enough running! Ah, oh, it hurts! I'll punch you so hard that you'll be swallowing your own teeth!
All you pussies. You're all the same. Waste any more time with you. I can hurt. I have to hide. I'll show you. I have to be careful from now on. She can't help us. Everyone not you too, Elisa. Not you too. Not everyone. I have to be strong. Filthy dog! What do you want now? Be quiet! Shut your mouth! Oh no! No! 
Make me lose my patience. There's no time now. I want to get away from this place! Okay, I can help you escape, but you have to help me with something first. Jennifer, you have to trust me. I know what you are capable of, like what you did in the cold room. That voice, was that you earlier on? I can feel what you are holding inside, and I know that you can hear me. Listen up, there's a dumbwaiter in the utility room on the balcony. I know how to find the key, but you have to guide me. Guide you? And how would I do that? Exactly how I did with you earlier. I guided you to use your gift, allowing you to escape. Stay here. I'll go ahead. Concentrate. Look inside yourself. Okay, stay with me. Don't leave me. I'll give you the go-ahead as soon as I'm done. Run outside and come meet me. Shit, she's coming this way. Do you see that old jukebox? Use it. <laughs> 